Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Have you ever gone to the commercial lumber yard or to a hardwood dealer and they started using this mystical language like board footage and board feet? What's that all about? It will stay tuned and I'll put you in the know. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Before we get onto the topic of board footage, and how to add that to your list of skills and how to buy lumber that way and to understand what's being said, I'd like to invite you to our upcoming live stream on Saturday, May 2nd. Hey, come social distance with Dirt Farmer Maggie and I as we talk about what's on your mind in these times of resiliency and self-reliance, more important than ever, and then also to tell you what's coming up. To find the live stream, just simply go back to the channel, Look up in the listing of videos and for the live stream listing and sign up. And you can even get a reminder sent to you so you can join it. We're coming up. It'll be great to interact with you. All right, well, let's talk about board footage. Is this some kind of language that's been designed to confuse mere mortals like you and I? No, not all at all. Just like any industry, there is language that has been developed that allows those in that industry to be more precise. Doesn't matter if you're in financial uh, areas, medical, um, manufacturing, there's always gonna be a certain terminology that's used, and such is the case related to board footage. Well, board footage is actually a measurement of volume of lumber. But the first thing that comes to my mind when I first encountered this years ago is why is it needed? What's the big deal? You can go down to the lumber yard and buy a two by four, two by six, a one by 12, whatever it might be, and just buy it because it's got the dimensions on it and it's got a price. And so you just buy it by the piece. Why doesn't that work in the hardwood area? Well, first of all, when you go to the lumber store, the regular lumber store, your home improvement center, everything is pretty much in standard sizes. There's only a limited range of items, whether it's one by or two by or four by four or four by whatever. And so, they have a less range of types of lumber and size of lumber, therefore it's easy to sell it by the piece or by the stick as it's called sometimes. So in the retail consumer environment, that's typically what's used, piece pricing. But when you come over to commercial or buying hardwood or slabs of hardwood that have a minimal amount of milling, now you've got a lot of variables. There's lots of different thicknesses. And there's also lots of different widths depending in what section of log the lumber was cut from and what kind of species and so forth. So you've got to come up with a way with all these thousands of different dimensions in the lumber racks of how to commonize the pricing and that is done through board footage. What is the volume in each piece of lumber multiplied by the board foot price to get the price for the piece you're buying? That's how it works. But how does it really work? Okay, well, if you go into the lumber yard and you buy a two by six, like we said, that's just kind of a standard piece. But the reality is the nominal size is actually about an inch and a half by five and a half. Uh, although it's called a two by six. That was the size before it was plain, kiln dried or dried to come up to this standard size, which we all know and love and enjoy. So that's in the case of retail pricing and sizing. But when you go into a hardwood lumber area, you're more likely to see pieces of lumber like this. And of course, these are shortened pieces. They'll be anywhere from six foot, most uh, hardwood manufacturers or excuse me, suppliers want you to leave ex at least four foot of lumber sellable. Uh, some want it a little bit longer than that, but you're gonna buy stuff that's 12 foot up to 16 foot long, common lengths are 10, 12s, and so forth. And to figure out the size, you've got to use this formula for figuring board footage. You're gonna take the height in inches by the width in inches and then you can do it either by length in inches or if it's even footage or even or an easily described length like two and a half foot or you know six and a half foot or six and three quarter but if you get into weird fractions you want to do it in inches you can measure it in inches or by foot 
Then you're going to divide that by a different number. And I'm going to walk you through those. Stick with me. I know it sounds a little confusing, but remember, we're talking about volume. Before we get a little bit further on that, though, I'm going to use this little piece of foam just to illustrate what a board foot is. Because remember, a vo board foot is that volume. And this particular piece of foam is 12 inches wide. It's one inch thick. And in this case, it's um, 28 inches long. But a board foot is actually one inch thick, 12 inches wide, 12 inches long. So if a, a board foot then has exactly 144 cubic inches of volume in it. That is what a true board foot is. You can commit that to memory, 12 by 12 by 1, 144 cubic inches. So when you go different sizes of lumber, what you're trying to find out is how many board feet or how many of those volumes are in there. And as you know, volume is a variable thing. I can take a gallon of water and pour it into different things. It may look like it's different, but it's still a gallon of water. It may be in a real tall uh, uh, cylinder. It may be in something that's a tray or whatever. It's the same volume, just in different containers. And so these boards that you see here are different containers, so to speak, of the volume of wood. Now, let's use this as a real simple example, and then we'll apply it to the others, and you'll get this forever, and it'll be part of, of your lexicon. So, as I said, this particular item, if this was a piece of hard uh, hardwood, and it was lengthwise 28 inches long by 12 inches wide by one inch thick, I would do this math, and I've actually shown you the math on the side in two different ways. If I was going to calculate it in inches, I would take one inch thick by 12 inches wide, that's how deep it is this way or wide, by 28 inches long. When I multiply those three together, I get the number 336. Remember there's 144 cubic inches in each board foot. I divide 144 into 336, and what do you know? I get two and a third board feet, or 2.33. Now, let's suppose that I had something that's real easy to measure it in feet. So instead of measuring that last number in inches, I could do it in feet and then divide by 12, not 144. So let's look at that formula. So using length in feet, this exact same volume here, one inch, by 12 inches by 2.33 foot because it was two and a third foot. It was two foot and four inches. Four inches is one third of a foot. So one by 12 by 2.33. If I multiply those, I come out with 27.96. Now I divide by 12 because I measured in feet, not inches. And it comes out, look at that, 2.33 the same as the other. So there is a real quick example of something of finding how many board foot is in this object. Well, let's look at a couple other examples. We're going ahead and get rid of the standard two by six because that's not really what you're going to buy. But let's suppose you went down and you bought a piece of lumber. It was something like this, but it was longer. But how much is in this in the way of board footage? Well, I've already measured this. It's 13 and a half inches this way, lengthwise. It's one inch thick and it's eight inches wide. Of course, take out the groove there if it was just a solid piece. Well, if I take all of those items and measure it and say eight inches wide by 13 and a half by one divided by 144 is three quarters of a board foot. That piece right there has three quarters of a board foot. Let's look at this one here. If I bought something like this, and of course this is more finished than you would typically buy, but again, we're talking volume. Well, if I look at the sizes on this, we'll just go ahead and use this in. I already marked it here. What I have found is that this is two and a quarter inches thick, 2.25, four and a half inches wide, and it is 34.75 or 34 and three quarters inches long. When I take all of those, multiply them, I end up with 352. When I divide it by 144, I have just under two and a half board foot in 
this piece of maple here. So there we go. Now let's do one more just to say more naturally how it might look. And here it is. Here's a board that was indeed bought by from a hardware uh, supplier just recently. And as you see, it's ready to be thickness and planed out to take out the resaw marks and all this. It's soft maple. So when I went to buy this piece of wood, we need to calculate the amount of board footage multiplied by the board footage price to know how much it's going to pay. And that's really important for you to know. So again, we're going to look at our math on this, and I've just done it to cheat. And here we go. This is one and a half inches approximately thick. So one and a half, it's seven and a half inches wide this way, and it's 48 inches long. Now, if I do by inches, I have 540 cubic inches in here. If I do it by foot, there's 45. If I'm doing it by inches, I'm gonna divide by 144. There's 3.75 board foot. Or if I did it by linear footage, uh, I'm going to divide by 12, so you get the same item. So for there's three and three quarters board foot in here. One other thing you got to know, when you go down to buy lumber at a hardwood supplier, they're going to sell you thicknesses above three quarter in quarters. Everything's called quarters, four quarter, five quarter, six quarter, seven quarter, eight quarter, and so forth. And those are quarters of an inch. So when you have something like this, notice I notated that, six quarter lumber, and that's how it said, six quarter, not six fourths. Six quarter, that's approximately one and a half inches thick. So an eight quarter would be almost two inches thick. A four quarter would be just slightly under an inch. And that's how it's all called out. And now that's how you multiply. Thickness times width times length in either inches or foot. If it's in inches, divide by 144. If it's in footage, divide by 12. And now you know what a board foot is. As you use this system ongoing, it'll become second nature to you and you'll start to see patterns that have developed. For instance, a one by six is always half of a board foot per linear foot. A two by six is one board foot per linear foot and so forth. There's patterns like that. And undoubtedly, you yourselves have worked out some shortcuts for this, those of the, you that use this system. And if you have some insights you'd like to offer to your fellow viewers, won't you do so in the comments below? And if you found this video to be helpful, please like it. And even better yet, won't you subscribe? And when you do, ring the bell so we'll let you know immediately of when a new video comes out. In the meanwhile, we hope to have you join us this coming Saturday for our live stream at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Just check back in the channel and you'll see where it is there. Log on to it or register for it. And it'll send you a reminder. We look forward to talking to you. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay at DirtFarmerJay.com.